knowing that my camera overheats and that I'm going to need to, to talk at length because I'm covering this mailing that I sent to Clipstill at MGM, um, I will I will use a lower resolution 3D format um, and I will upload these to YouTube. And if you see in this, it's because you got it off YouTube. Google is investing heavily in and through YouTube in VR technology. The future is VR. Whether you want to accept it or not, it is. It will blow you out of the water, Hollywood. Hollywood is dead. Um, you remember hearing radio killed, um, video killed radio star? VR killed everything before it. Will kill it. And I am putting my money in Facebook. I'm at least going to start with $5,000 in Facebook stock. Um, I expect it to grow to about eight times that. And um, maybe even more. And it will be bigger than the iPhone. So, here we go. Let me, uh, I'm not a business. I know the answer is probably no. And I started out the subject matter. It says the future of film is VR and VR's history is traced to MGM's brainstorm. Um, let me go on to say I might be able to get Microsoft to foot the bill. I want to present the movie to those on Altspace VR as a historical movie to pay homage to it as being the first movie about virtual reality before there was such a term. Note, Microsoft owns Minecraft, Altspace VR. They are actively working on technology to augment reality with virtual elements, layering vision with 3D graphical content. This is the future of human perception and such will taint people's value for 2D content. It will be how future generations determine the age of content. 2D is the new black and white film, just as generations introduced to color shun black and white film for its lack of color, generations introduced to 3D will shun the 2D format. Facebook owns Oculus, and in four months will release a headset that for $400 that is self-contained and offers six degrees of freedom. So six degrees of freedom is rotation about the X, uh, Y, Z, and movement along the X, Y, Y, and Z. Okay, so that is all you need to present any kind of object in 3D space, uh, volumetric uh, solutions. Um, read up on Blender's EV technology, which is real-time uh, volumetric, um, real-time coloring, texturing of surfaces. Um, it's going to change the way animators create content. Um, and so it, the technology is already an open source because it's an open source. Anybody has access to it. Um, they don't have to shell out $1,000 for a 3D application. They shell out $0 for Blender, and Blender is fully capable of permitting anybody, uh, any single individual, or any group of people, regardless of, uh, of location in the world, uh, to produce um, movies in 2D or 3D or even VR, okay? It's already there. Um, Steven Spielberg, I believe, created the movie Pl Ready Player One uh, partially to try to convince people that the future is VR, um, that this is how people who cannot afford to um, go other places as our generation are to be because of the lack of monies that people tend to live on minimum wage, they will value this content over um, any other form of uh, venue. Uh, traveling will cease to, to exist. That means that um, people will use less oil. They will 
probably not value using cars. They'll probably use public transportation um, because they won't be able to afford cars or afford to park their cars, especially in New York, where it costs $300 a month to park a car in New York. So people in New York will especially be using this technology. People will stop going to movie theaters. People will stop buying movies. They will stop buying CD or DVD recorders or players. They will stop doing a lot of the stuff that you um, expect them to do these days. Um, anyhow, that um, the, the, the future is in this VR technology. And if you want to survive as a, a Hollywood, as an entity of Hollywood, I will push this idea that you should start investing in VR and no longer shun it because it is here and it will and it's it will never move. It will never go away. Um, okay. Um, Facebook owns Oculus. In four months, it will release a headset, $400, that is self-contained, offers six degrees of freedom per hand, three DOF on the headset. This is a fact, turns every consumer and potentially a puppeteers, at the very least, at very most, their own movie studios, especially with access to free 3D applications such as Blender 3D, which is www.blender.org, an application I've been using for 25 years, an application I will teach artists in this realm to motivate consumers to become the new storytellers. The effect will be your movie repositories will lose market share. Nobody will want to buy movies from the 2D format except those melancholy for thus of your. Facebook's current offering is $200 it is called the Oculus Go. If you desire to make money, I suggest investing in Facebook stock now. You will not regret it. This technology, Facebook stands to profit beyond app, what Apple did with iPhones. Okay. That is the worst that will happen to your industry as a result of the VR medium. Due to the VR 180 stereo VR cameras go less for than $300 to see what VR 180 can do. Purchase an Oculus Go, download YouTube VR, watch Elton John's farewell tour presentation, download the Cirque du Soleil app, watch the presentations, play the game virtual virtual reality. This is the future of entertainment. It will destroy these industries, television, film, IMAX, theme parks. 2D porn, live events, 2D news, as 3D is tough to manipulate, is more believable. Therefore, news organizations will not be able to, to um, will not be able to manipulate their content in order to present a worldview. Um, it will destroy Fox News. It will augment as CNN liberal media will take over um, everything because liberal media is is often truth fox medium is a media uh, fox television is f-a-u f-e-u-x faux news um, every liberal knows this every non-progressive uh, knows this the conservatives will hang on to what the republicans say because um, Republicans are, are resist change of any kind. Um, uh, the Christians are really stupid people um, these days in America. Why? Because they do not practice what they preach and uh, will, are not reading the Bible uh, actively. Um, I am Christian but I am liberal Christian. Um, I understand things that the normal Christian will not um, acknowledge. Uh, you need to be benevolent, okay? You need to not be evangelist first. 
you need to be somebody who treats other people fairly. Since Christians do not do this these days, um, they do offer benevolent, uh, they do treat people, um, they do help people, but they do not value um, standards of living and maintaining government programs to help the poor. They do not accept paying taxes to support government in the developing of standards for corporations. Um, so, um, these, these Christians will need to uh, realize this and change. Um, that's just my politics. I put that on the side. I bought uh, that set. I think um, Brainstorm could stand to gain relevance as the father of the VR concept, the ultimate goal of personal content. I bought this movie for myself in 2000 on DVD in New York when I turned 30. I bought and watched it in reverence. I think it's sad that not only Wood died during the production and wished it had been completed had she survived. My need to show this to the VR community is to inspire them on the significance of the technology and encourage its future use. Here is my website, uh, http colon slash slash www.chann3lc.com. The shortened URL is http colon slash slash c3z.me slash. This is a custom software I wrote to turn YouTube back into television. How it does that is it um, is it takes the playlists and plays them as if they had started at a particular time in the past and have always been playing in a looped mode forever. And when you come in to watch the playlist, it tries to compute when, where you would be if the video had been playing from some time in the past. Therefore, the video simulates, uh, the playlist simulates a television broadcast. And because it does this, it makes it a perfect medium for social, uh, uh, for internet-based social activity. As two people entering in, from two places in the world will see the same content um, regardless of when they come in uh, to watch the movie. So for great numbers of people, they will all see the same content uh, regardless of where they are in the world um, at the same time and, and never from the beginning um, all the time um, as playlists are. And because of this, uh, YouTube content, it lacks the capacity um, of offering people the ability to see content, um, to, to experience content on the full, um, rather than from the beginning of a playlist. Nobody watches videos on the end of a playlist. They watch from the beginning. However, with my website, they watch all the way through. And I think um, over time, the television, uh, and I plan to open source my website, uh, I think over time, television and movies will be presented on such sites as Channel Z um, that offer content in this way. I imagine that it will also change the way cable television, the value that cable television has in the internet world as Cable television presents content in this format, and uh, and people value that television for this reason. Um, the television medium will cease to be as interesting as this will, and YouTube will be the source of such information, at least for my site. So. If given permissions to play, play Brainstorm, I would like to dedicate the channel on my site to a movie where it would play in rotation as if shown on television. I could collect 
information on viewership through the website and design is though the website is not designed to collect identifying information i can collect ip addresses and from that determine the demographic where the world where in the world viewers were coming from so as to help you determine potential markets for sales of the movie i would hope that a free viewing of the movie would inspire its significance and historical value in the field of virtual reality this could be very good for you i have no doubt keep in mind though vr has the potential to kill the adoption of 3d imagery as an art because of these attributes 3d is personal in nature filmographers can't use telephoto lenses because they produce flat content in 3d the only way stereo imagery is possible with telephoto lens is in the event of a jet plane flyby um so if you're got a if you got a camera out a window a stereo camera out a window or at a window of a jet plane uh, the jet plane is moving as fast as it does the brain will will process multiple points of of perspective of the land and mountains don't show up flat they show up three-dimensional and that is why because the brain is giving more information about the dimension the the um is given more perspective on what it is seen with both eyes this is just the nature of how stereo imaging works if you've got a moving camera that's moving fast enough across uh, the content the content will appear 3d that uh, that's far off you can get a 3d image of the moon if you were to take a photograph on either end of the earth aiming at the moon um, this is because the the brain needs um, more needs different perspectives in order to generate uh, a concept of what things look like 3d is is possible because of your brain your brain is what discerns the 3d content um, without without uh, an eye you still could perceive 3d content but it relies on the brain heavily and because it's the brain that discerns it um, you can see things in 3d you can't see in 2d you can discern um, things in 3d that you can't discern in 2d and because of this people will value it as a medium for for training uh, so the killer app people may think is porn maybe it's the elephant in the room but the killer app i would say is training uh, training people in uh, in in arts of of work that use three dimensions such as rebuilding engines um, in um, surgery in um, in knitting for instance which is pretty simple bagging I'm a bagger and Kroger I get a I'm a computer I got a computer science degree and a minor in art but I bag for Kroger and I understand the part of the reason why I bag for Kroger is because I want people to understand what the value is of somebody working on minimum wage if they take their job seriously that it doesn't make sense to to pay them minimum wage that they should be paid more and that they if they value the job the way i do um, they would receive another quality of care that they will not receive at any other store and is the reason why people come to our store more is because of people like me um, not be, um, because of uh, lower value in uh, products i have the potential in my own mind to change the industry this is why i say to people that um, are looking to save money is 
your time worth saving the money? How much money are you saving? Is your time worth that money? And if your time is worth that little money that you save, what does that say to, about you as an individual? Are people going to value relationships with you when you spend so much uh, time on so little money and savings? Okay. So we become such consumers that we are exploited by corporations for our lack of, of value of time, our lack of value of personal space. We have become um, gluttons to our own punishment of what we, how we work. And if we valued our time more, if we had a life, um, a real life, and not be consumers primarily, we would be able to leap buildings in a single bound as a society. We currently are less than um, what we could be because of how much we try to save money, how much we try to uh, how how much we try to save the environment, but we don't save the environment in the right, right way. They shun the use of plastic bags because of what it does in the wild, but they still continue to drive cars that use oil. It is a um, it is an irony of our society that people fear the wrong stuff. Okay, so um, keep in mind VR's potential to kill the adoption of 2D imagery is art because these attributes, 3D is personal in nature, filmographers can't use telephone or lenses. Uh, because telephone lenses can't be used, the only options for 3D VR content is macro lens, fisheye lens. Therefore, those who can create the content are live performers, actors who perform their own stunts, such as Tom Cruise has determined that the future of VR relies on him learning to be a stunt person as adopting the skills of a stunt person as you can't easily hide the camera crew behind a VR 180 setup. Viewers can easily discern stuntmen from actors. 3D imagery is impossible to manipulate without the development of computer vision, artificial intelligence, as the brain is capable of discerning missing visual information from stereo shots. I would have continued to write this message, but I don't trust this computer, and this computer has a tendency to crash after a period of time. Um, it is an open source operating system that I've got here, but uh, for some reason the installation that I've got um, is buggy. Um, this isn't true for all open source technology. This isn't true for the modern Blender 3D application. And uh, Blender is, though some people say it is so complex to use, I beg to put, put together, put the position to position the idea that Blender is no more complex than any other 3D application in existence. And the people that tend to complain about the complexity of Blender are the same people who haven't been able to master any other 3D application. They also don't understand why Blender is a better choice than other 3D applications uh, mainly that it doesn't use a file system. It uh, stores everything in an image copy of the of the internal data structures that the Blender uses. That's the file system it uses. And because of that, it um, saves artists lots of time in having to manage files as they don't have to manage files anymore. Um, I remember whenever I was doing 3D animation in school, and I won a $2,000 award from Alice Wayfram. Those are the guys that made Maya. Um, and partially reason why, because I was selling their own Wayfront software for them um, uh, without even knowing it. Um, I was one of the first people to put uh, MPEG-based animations on the internet. Um, 
called Rise of the Thorax and was an inspiration to a lot of people at the time as to what um, imagery, what kind of movies, uh, how long and how high resolution movies could be stuck on the internet as and distributed. Um, and what people could do with 3D, uh, with the 3D art. Um, Pixar knows about my content. Um, uh, I had my content shown to, by, to Pixar. I know people in, that work in Pixar, um, people who used to work at Pixar. <clears throat> I know people in the game industry. I know people um, in the healthcare industry. Um, I know the reason why healthcare cost so much and it's because companies private industry monopolizes healthcare um, if we had standards of healthcare informatics we wouldn't have to fill out forms at every doctor we wouldn't have to uh, tote our paper records from doctor to doctor we would be able to eliminate one su such thing as called um, the the um, addictive patient, the addicted patient that will jump from doctor to doctor in order to get certain drugs that they are addicted to. I, um, if there was a integrated, um, correlated, peer-to-peer -peer, um, method of transferring uh, records for patients, if, it, if there was a standard in place, and there is a standard in that could be in place, it's called PIDs, it was developed 25 years ago uh, or 20 years ago by the telemed project by the government. Um, if it was used, um, we could eliminate a lot of the cost of healthcare. Um, the main reason why uh, private industry is against the government isn't because the government taxes them, it's because the government has standards of the ways to do things in such a way that could be destructive to the private industry, uh, initially actually improving how the industry, uh, and leveling the playing field in the industry so that the good technologies come forth and the bad technologies die away, which is the way you think that the marketplace should work, but it does not. Um, it will only happen by the adoption of better standards for healthcare informatics. So you can see how I'm a very dangerous in individual to the future of these um, passe technologies, these passe industries that we have in America. The future of America relies on people like me revealing information, revealing the future that will be. So, I will put that aside and um, bid you farewell. Thank you for watching. Um, did you have any choice?